I feel like it's my calling to teach. You know, I started out working at a daycare center when I was going through college and um, it was I guess brought to my attention by my colleagues there that I should work with children instead of a degree in marketing. And so from that point on I took their advice and I've like loved it. I love learning, so learning is teaching. Teaching is learning. I love learning. I learn a lot from my students and the staff. Dad was a high school guidance counselor for 35 years and my mom was a high school home ec. We call that family and consumer science now, but she taught that for almost 40 years. Um, it was really just in my blood and in high school and I mean my whole life I've just been involved with school activities. It seemed really natural to work in the industry. I actually wanted to be an athletic director when I very first entered until I moved to Texas and realized that's typically the head football coach. <laughs> <laughs> and that didn't necessarily fit um, what I was going to be doing, so um, I just, you know, kept on as a classroom teacher, and you know, I love it. What am I supposed to be doing with the rest of my life? Okay, and I prayed about it. I thought substituting was just going to be just that, a temporary means to an end. But the reality was, it became what my fundamental purpose of life was to be. It all started when I was working at my church as a teacher. Um, I was an insurance broker originally. And just working in the classroom there, it just opened up my eyes to something new. And I just felt, well, I found my calling. That's where I belong, teaching. When I was in elementary school, there was a teacher that I fell in love with, my third grade teacher. And we actually uh, still communicate today. So um, I was kind of like the teacher's pet and uh, I was able to get resources and I played school at home, I wrote on my walls, I always got in trouble for that, but it was a lot of fun. So each year after that, I found another teacher that I fell in love with and just helped me along the way and was very encouraging. So I decided, yeah, I think this is what I want to do. Going into education, I wanted to figure out what area would best suit me and my educational history and I felt like I would have the greatest impact in middle school when students are trying to form their identities. So allowing those children to be different and cater to them and say, hey, it's okay to be different, be you. Because if you're not comfortable at school, how can you make the best out of learning? Tomorrow we'll have a test, okay? And the report card Forest report card will be due on Friday. So let's do the warm up right now. Why Crossroads? 10 years. I love it. First, I don't know. But the more I learn about Crossroads, my school, the more I learn about myself, I discover myself, and I love learning from this. And I hope that we will make difference on the students' lives. And they come back, you see they are blooming, they are blossoming. She's funny. She's funny. Yes. When she don't like something, she goes, who don't like? <laughs> <laughs>
I just will never forget an experience where I was asking a student to tell me um, like his letters and sounds and the first thing he said was my mom didn't teach me nothing. <laughs> So, you know, that's something that sticks with me. And then from there, he wasn't able to hold a pencil, uh, much less write his name. And just to know that he went from that point of feeling that he didn't know anything to being, by the end of the year, one of my best students with the best handwriting. And just seeing the growth in them is just, I love it. The thing that I like best in Mommy Simi is that she's funny, um, very, very helpful, and that she can maintain my craziness. I have from high energy, high energetic, high performing academically, to some that are facing formidable challenges, and everything in between. Um, but one thing that I teach each of them is that no matter what your difficulties may be, every one of you has an opportunity to learn. Each of you could be a great student if you just if you just try. And I show them ways and provide them with the tools and resources that they can use to have some type of success. Every student can have can be successful at something. It's up to me as their leader in this classroom to show them the path to greatness. The toy, he's like He'll wake everybody up when everybody's like tired, say like after recess, when everybody wants to just like sit down. He'll like yell and then everybody just woke, so it was like Ugh. In each of my classes I have it, a handful of students who I try and find out what's going on in their lives and you know how I can be helpful to them. We have class dojo so I'll message them. Uh, and tell let their parents know what's going on. Some students will message me and ask me, Miss Smart, do we have school today? Miss Smart, I'm not coming to school today. I'm like, okay, okay. So it, it's good to have a good rapport with the students and their personalities. I like to see them smile when they come in and I can always tell when they have something that's on their mind and I wanna know, okay, how can I make your day better? What can we do to get past this? I like a lot of stuff about her because what I really like about her is that she's so nice and she teaches me like a lot of stuff and that um, she like is confident in me that I can pass this grade so she helps me a lot so I get good grades and everything. Build relationships with my students. That's the one thing that I've noticed that, I mean, because I get them almost at the beginning, you know, there's pre-K, but I get them, you know, at the beginning of their educational career, and I still have students in each grade level that'll either come back and visit, or they'll email me, or I'll see them out, and they're like, Mrs. Hill, you know, and I try, even here at Petrosky, you know, with our third and fourth graders, I try my best, you know, to check on them and to make sure that, you know, they're okay, you know, and, you know, they're doing what they're supposed to do so that they know their kindergarten teacher loves them to death. I love her because she teaches me a lot.